Hey, g'day, guys. How you doing? Oh, good, thanks. Oh. How's it going with you? Oh, dear. Oh. Great Caesar's ghost. You gave me a fright there, Bob. <laughs> well, I hope nothing's broken. Oh, no, you're right, Constable Brian. I think that was just a cool sound effect for the kids at home. <laughs> What's all this stuff, anyway? Well, it's stuff I'm taking to the mission, Bob. Stuff to help other people out. You know, stuff that I don't use anymore. Oh. What? Oh, like your hairbrush? <laughs> yeah, I've been meaning to get rid of that for ages. <sighs> hey, Bob, I don't suppose you've got anything you'd like to give to other people, have you? Oh. But hang on. Oh, who's the wall? <laughs> Good one. And here's the three week old. Here's the three week old honey and dog biscuit sandwich. <laughs> Actually, uh, I think I'll keep that for myself. You don't think yeah. some other puppies would want it, mate? Uh, yeah, but uh, it's not my job to look after the other puppies. That's an adult's job. Well. I know some kids who look out for other kids, Bob. You do? Oh, do they give other kids their old sandwiches as well? Hmm, I don't think so. Ooh, Brian and Bobby. <sighs> Boy, that smells great! Ooh, it's almost ready, Constable Brian. You want a snuff? Uh, I don't think so, Bob. Hey, Bob, you know kids help other kids all the time. Oh, yeah, uh, like helping eat each other's lollies, eh? Well, not quite. I sort of meant in more helpful ways. Why don't we have a look and see how you can help others at school? And what better place to start than getting to school? Hey, how did the chicken cross the road? With the help of the school crossing guards. <laughs> oh, I think one. Oh, but they're not chickens, they're kids. And chickens don't go to school anyway, so why would they use a school crossing? OK, moving right along. Next. Yeah. That kid is stealing her money. Well, oh, that's not very helpful. She's not stealing it, Bobby. She's counting it. But she's not giving it back. Another way kids help others at school is with the banking. They make sure the kids have got the right amount of money and then deposit it for them. Oh, OK. Well, as long as she isn't a bank robber. Kids help in the library, too. Oh, so they'd help me find a book on how to read? Oh, I'm still having trouble with my big words. Sure, they'd help you, and there's some other kids who would help you, too. It's called buddy reading. Oh, so when the big kids help the other kids to read? Exactly. Oh, the, oh, that's tricky, Trickster. They use the boring book to hide the cool one inside. Oh, now that kid's helping kids. Oh, well, as long as they're reading, I guess. Bobby, you know, at some schools they have peer group mediators. Say what? What the? Well, basically, they're kids who help out other kids with their problems. Oh, like uh, how you get girl puppies to like you. Not those types of problems, I don't think, Bob. Like problems that happen in the playground. Oh, how can you tell who the peer group mediators are? Well, they're the ones in the bright vests, and if there's an issue, they help sort it out. How do they do that? The mediators listen to both sides of the story, and then they help the kids figure out what to do. <laughs> that kid must be really good. Oh, I don't like sharing my ball, and, and she's got them to do it. They can also reward kids for good behaviour, like picking up rubbish. That's not rubbish, Constable Brian. That's dinner. Good work. Congratulations. The kids get certificates, and at some schools they even get awarded house points for helping out. Pretty cool, eh? What's cool are those peer group mediators. And, uh, Constable Ryan... Yes, Bob? I think I'd look pretty cool in one of those vests. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look! Oh, three o'clock! That's home time from school! <laughs> Surely is. Oh, so all those kids can stop helping those other kids now uh, and watch telly? Well, they could, but there's still plenty of ways that kids can help others outside their school, Bob. There are? Yeah, heaps. Some kids help with sports, teaching and coaching other kids. Some even referee games. And if you don't like sports, there's still plenty of other options. Who are those girls? They're brownies. Yum! Oh, I love chocolate brownies. Ooh, they're almost as good as dog biscuit sandwiches. No, Bobby. Brownies are girls who meet regularly to have fun, learn new skills, and most importantly, help others. It's called doing a good turn. 
Whoa, are those presents for me? No, they're for kids who won't be getting any Christmas presents. One of the things Brownies do is raise money to buy gifts, and now they're wrapping them up to put under the Christmas tree at the mission. Though so, those guys aren't really Brownies, they're elves. <laughs> no one is too young to help. Even the Pippins, who are between five and seven, help other kids. What are they doing? The Pippins make cards for the kids in the oncology ward at the hospital and then take them in and visit them. But the girl guides just don't help other people, Bobby. They also help girls within their group. There's a program they have called Big Sister, Little Sister. But I don't have a big sister or a little sister. I've just got a, a ball and my sandwich and you. Oh, oh yeah, that's a spot. Big Sister, Little Sister teams up the bigger girls, called Rangers, with one of the Pippins. They spend time together, and then they play together, learn new things, and just basically hang out. Just like if they really were sisters. It's fun, and the young ones find it really helpful. I want to be a brownie, Constable Brian, uh, so I can help other people. I don't think brownies are quite your style, Bob. So well, what is more my style? Um, ooh, what about hip-hop dancing? Wait, wait! Ta-da! Just call me Bow Wow Bobby! <laughs> My name is Bobby and I am the best. Under Brian's desk I've got a whole treasure chest. A bulls, a sandwich, and all the rest! Ah. Bobby time. What else have you got down there? Oh, just a few bits and bobs. Uh, so tell me more about this dancing. This is suburban unit hip-hop. Oh, look, there's one. One what? A hip. Oh, and there's a hop. Do these guys help each other learn the dances? <laughs> yep. <laughs> that must feel good. And they make other kids feel good too. Here's Suburban Unit performing at Starship Hospital. Look, the kids love it. Great, eh? So that's another way kids can help other kids by making them happy. Well, <laughs> they sure look happy. You know, Constable Brian, uh, I think my dance moves could make some puppy somewhere very, very happy. Uh, is that why kids do it? To make people happy? Um, it makes you feel good inside and it makes you feel really great about helping other kids. It's great to see a smile on their face. It's just an amazing feeling. Brian and Bobby. Boy, that took ages, but it's worth it. Hey, let's get this stuff to the mission, Bob. You got anything you want to put in? Oh, yeah, my work's a ball. Good work. Nice one. So, if I wanted to help other puppies, how might I go about it? Good question. Let's go through it again. It's a really great idea to help out other kids. All puppies, uh, and, and there's plenty of things you can do to help at school. Uh, you can help by doing the banking, uh, pedestrian crossing, or even peer mediation. And after school, there's community groups. Oh, like brownies, uh, but not the chocolate kind, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Or scouts. Or you might even want to join a hip-hop group that performs for other kids. But best of all, it feels really good when you help out other kids. You know what, Constable Brian? What's that, Bob? I've decided to give my ball and my honey and dog biscuit sandwich to puppies that really need it. Nice one. Uh, thanks, Bob. But are you sure? Yup. Uh, besides, I've got some more three-week-old sandwiches under your desk that are almost ready as well. Oh, gross. Whoa! Oh, this is really heavy. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I'll put on your bowling ball and your paperweight when you're in the toilet. <sighs> Thanks, Bob. I'm going to need a hand, I think. Oh, OK, then. Woohoo! Yeah! Oh. Good work! Good work, Cotham O'Brien. Go for it, buddy. Oh, that's a man, Bobby. Oh, sorry, Cotham O'Brien, but somewhere out there, a puppy needs my help. Oh, but Bob, Bob, I really need a hand. Oh, OK. Uh, Thanks, Bob. Stay safe. And keep your cool. Oh, it's okay, Bob, I've got it. It's all good. Oh! Hundreds, even. A thousand? Hundreds and thousands. Yo, good things. How's it going with you? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Can somebody help you with your line? Ooh. For more info about this program and some cool things to do, visit www.brianandbobby.co.nz. Just make sure it's Brian with a Y. Brian and Bobby brought to you by Blue Light Ventures and Trillium Trust with the help of New Zealand on here.